Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. Vice Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the 28th edition of the Bahrain Trophy race held as part of the new market racing festival in the United Kingdom. During the festival, His Highness Sheikh Isa highlighted His Majesty the King's commitment to supporting and preserving the kingdom's equestrian heritage. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman expressed gratitude to His Majesty the King for the continued support provided in ensuring the success success of the annual Bahrain Trophy race at the new Market Racing Festival. His Highness Sheikh Isa noted that the success of the annual race embodies the strength of historic relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom, which are underpinned by continued cooperation across various fields. His Highness Sheikh Isa highlighted that the Bahrain Trophy race, a 2,600-meter Group 3 flat horse race, is one of the most prominent races in the new market calendar. His Highness Sheikh Isa then presented the award to the winner of the Bahrain Trophy, Spanish mission ridden by jockey Jamie Spencer and trained by David Simcock. The Bahrain Trophy race witnessed high competition as the winning stud Spanish mission surpassed Naif Road, ridden by jockey Sylvester de Sousa and owned by Emirati Mohammed Bil Ubeida. His Highness Sheikh Isa praised the high level of competitiveness that took place during the Bahrain Cup, noting the wide attendance of visitors and fans, which has added to the success of the festival each year. His Highness Sheikh Isa further noted the ongoing collaboration between the Supreme Committee of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, chaired by His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa and the famous New Market Race Courses, which has contributed to the organization of the Bahrain Trophy Race, sponsored by the Kingdom of Bahrain since 1978. His Highness Sheikh Isa was accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Sultan Al Din bin Abd Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Bahraini Embassy in London held the annual event at the British Parliament for the Bahrain All Party Parliamentary Group and the Bahrain Society under the patronage of the Ambassador of Bahrain to the United Kingdom, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. In the presence of ministers, MPs, media figures, and friends of the Kingdom of Bahrain, including the Minister of State for the Middle East at the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, Dr. Andrew Morrison. The Shadow Minister for Peace and Disarmament with responsibility for the Middle East, M MP Fabian Hamilton, Shadow Foreign and Commonwealth Minister for Europe Khaled Mahmoud, and uh, former Middle East Minister MP Alistair Burt, along with a number of politicians and parliamentarians. During his welcoming speech, the ambassador noted the importance of the historic relations between Bahrain and the UK, which is reflected in the role of the Bahrain All Party Parliamentary Group and the Bahrain Society in highlighting the honorable image of Bahrain in the UK and promoting Bahraini achievements at all levels. For his part, Colonel Bob Stewart expressed pride in heading the group and stressed the importance of the strategic relationship between the two countries, as well as his efforts through his presidency to enhance the existing cooperation for the benefit of the two friendly countries. MP Alistair Burt highlighted his keenness to attend the events held by the Bahraini Embassy and praised its support of ties between the two countries and an affirmation of the distinguished bilateral relations. The ceremony was also attended by a number of MPs and Lords, including MP Connor Mourns, former Speaker of the House of Commons Nigel Evans, Lord Astor, MP Rahman Shisti, MP Abzal Khan, Baroness Morris, MP David Jones, in addition to a number of British personalities such as Sir Geoffrey Tantum and Sir Geoffrey Donaldson and senior officials from the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. Great pleasure to spend just a few moments here with the Bahrain Society. 
to pay my respects to His Excellency the Ambassador and renew my friendship with so many friends from Bahrain. I've always felt the relationship between the United Kingdom and Bahrain is particularly special. It's an affectionate one, it's full of people who spend a lot of time going to and fro, good friendships, good family links, uh, and I can, always, I can see that enduring for a long time to come. So when you come to a society do, you see people you haven't seen for a little while, you share a few stories about Bahrain, but you remember above all the great friendship that we share between the United Kingdom and Bahrain and between our two royal families. So it's been lovely to be here and meet friends again, and as always, I wish all my friends in Bahrain very well indeed. I'm delighted to be here at the Bahrain Society Summer Reception. It's wonderful to meet so many old friends and familiar faces. I've seen people that I haven't seen since the 80s when I lived in Bahrain. Um, some people who may be watching this may remember me from Bahrain Television when I did some programming on the old Channel 55. It's wonderful to be here and I thank you this I am the All Party Group of Bahrain Chairman. T today we're having the annual party of the Bahrain Society here in the Strangers' um, Dining Room of the House of Commons. Under the patronage of the Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamedan, the first specialized project in health training and continuing education was opened today. In the presence of the Executive Chairman of the National Organization for Occupational and Health Services, Maryam Al Jalahma, and a number of officials and stakeholders in the health sector. The state of the art facility will act as a training and support hub for the Kingdom's National Dental Health Monitoring research and laboratory network. The initiative aims to bridge the gap between education and employment through offering specialized programs such as training courses that accommodate to the need of the health practitioners, providing job opportunities for the Bahrain citizen, which will also promote broader economic development. The training center aims to target and involve diverse parties such as medical students, job seekers or practitioners by providing all necessary health programs at the highest quality. The center is a breakthrough in the field of health training in the kingdom and will contribute effectively to provide the necessary support to all health practitioners and those interested in the health sector, which comes in line with the the aspirations of Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. This project is a very important investment in the field of health and training, the first of its kind. Uh, we have been working uh, with the Ministry as a health regulatory authority with the Ministry of Labour on the regulations to open the training centre and uh, the Minister of Labour initiated this coordinating committee where it will be uh, where it, uh, it is looking at the curriculums and the training and this is the product of this committee. Uh, it will create a, a quality training uh, now in the field of dentistry and later on maybe to be advanced. It will create jobs for young Bahrainis because it doesn't require university uh, degree to work as an assistant, a uh, dental assistant and this are the first training is going to be done so they will be able within a few months to be certified by NHRA as a dental assistant and will create uh, big jobs. We have more than over 90 centers for uh, uh, dentist and uh, they will be needing uh, dental assistant everywhere. No dentist can work alone without a dental assistant, so this is a very good opportunity. We uh, established SIF uh, Health Training Center in Bahrain to uh, close the gap and the needs for uh, training programs uh, for all levels, uh, whether they are school graduates, uh, medical practitioners, or job seekers. Um, we are trying to serve the Bahraini and the GCC region region, uh, community in the health field and we hope to uh, uh, start and establish uh, high quality standards of uh, programs in Bahrain inshallah. The, that this center is one of a kind in, its, in the region uh, which has been um, uh, a very high standard that was put uh, to train and uh, introduce new technologies and, and uh, facilities to entertain to the doctors and medical practitioners. So. I believe this is a very nice and very effective landmark that we have uh, put at this moment and this would shine into the region and of course to the Kingdom of Bahrain and it would definitely um, enhance and uh, elevate the standards.